Now I'm sure you've seen these things before, right? Let's have a look here. Um, essentially, oh, um, what we're going to be doing here is just, you know, practicing how to multiply and add those little rules. And we're going to make a graph out of this situation. You know, that, that's a funny situation. We have to figure that out. Okay. So, here we go. Remember this whole PEMDAS thing? We're going to sort of zoom in to go left to right, and you have to look for the parentheses first. I mean, if the parentheses were here, you would do that first, but there's no parentheses. So we're just going to hunt for the multiplying and the dividing. There's a multiplication, so I'm going to do that first. So I'd write down the 6 minus 1 times 2 is 8. And then I can put the minus down. And I'm just going to multiply that there. That's a, that's a 12. Right? Now we just go straight across, left to right. 6 minus 8. That becomes minus 2. Bring this down. And then we just go ahead, right? Remember, you're going, here's 0, minus 2, and then minus 12. You're going to add those and give it a negative value. Ta-da! Okay. I don't mean to make this go too fast. I'm just trying to limit how much... This, a lot of this should just be review. It just should go fast for you. If you want to go slower, go ahead and call me. Right? Now, what do we have here? 2y. 4 plus 6. Hmm. Well... What do we want to do here? The way I look at it is I want to just have y's because I know how to make a graph when it's y equals something, right? And th there's something nice here that if I take the 2 away from here by dividing, I'll be able to, I see 2's here. So I'm going to do 2y divided by 2 is equal to 4x plus 6 divided by 2. These two are like 4x over 2 plus 6 over 2, which is like 2x plus 3. <laughs> that becomes a pretty standard sort of graph. We get um, things like zip, zip. We go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We make x0, okay? So y equals 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, we know it's 2, so we're going to go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Now, we, right? Like that. No, we have to decide. Remember it was greater than? We're going to decide by changing this part. And remember that favorite point to test? We're going to test this point right there. And that point's number is 0. It's greater than 0. So we're saying... 0 is greater than 3. No. So we have to say no on this side. So we have to shade the other side. That's a good side. But we're not done. Remember this part here? Yeah. We want to make this a dashed line. Good. Thank you for watching.